Hello and welcome. I'm going to play Firewatch and I don't know a lot about it, but I did follow the their blog and stuff. So I've been wanting to play this for at least yeah, a few months. So let's get started. New game. Nineteen seventy five, okay. No cell phones. Shit. You see Julia, okay. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You Henry are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You're drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. What's your major? You slur the word major and it smells like coarse. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Really? <laughs> okay. I did not know that that was going to be a part of the game. Okay. Pick up my backpack. Alright. Um... Uh... Okay. Is that my car? Maybe I I should have looked around a little bit. Shit. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. <laughs> you move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the shepherd. I don't know. It's difficult. Man, I, I hate when you have to pick between pets. I have two cats and it sucks when you're just like, oh, all of them look so precious and I don't know what to do, but yeah. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Yeah, okay. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Nice. I love animals. 1979 you talk out on the deck it's summer 9 30 p.m and the heat still radiates off of the high desert what do you think about kids she asks kids they're not very smart or good at much i'm saying if you and i have some a couple of idiots uh sure that would be pretty good in that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. Hmm, what happened to her? Because I feel like they're not together anymore. And I don't remember which year this is supposed to be. Taking place in 80 something, I think. Do not forget to check in, learn to live with bears, no fireworks, there. 
thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Where am I? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, let's just go. This is very relaxing, the setting. Oh. 1980. It's Thursday. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call your word in getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You, fo you fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh... You get mad, I guess. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Shit. But ignoring is not really better because then you just drift apart right away. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like he man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so pretty. Can't really do anything. I guess this is just like a prologue. Space to climb over. Okay. Nineteen eighty-two. During the summer, Steve and Julie enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with the knife, whoa. Mayhem runs away. Mamie, oh fuck, the dog, Julia Jules. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You come from the attacker. Ah! I don't know, I don't know. I, I will scare him away, I, I think. Shit. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and friend to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. Uh, he runs away. You ask to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. No, so the dog is gone. That's it. Shit. 1984. Plans to have kids get way late by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Con Connecticut. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. <sighs> I mean, shit. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, she can take the job. I don't want to be the person who's gonna tell them no. Don't don't follow your dreams or whatnot. <sighs> you ask her if she'll come commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She, she says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from jail on pay leave after having an episode. Oh, she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Okay. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make more and drink wine and try to forget about it. No, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen multiple doctors and having many tests. They are worried that Jula might be suffering from early onset dementia. Oh no, dementia. 
She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. That's so sad. No. A journal. Oh my god. Nice. How do I... Mayhem is getting older. No, okay, so he didn't go away. Okay. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. Why is this game so sad? You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. I was not expecting the game to be so freaking sad. Jeez. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. No. Some days you get the, the Julia who calls you a dope. And your unborn children little idiots other days you get a stranger Aww. she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door oh shit you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in australia to visit her from a while your friends come by with little things to run in the day she gets worse 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Hmm. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care at home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Shit. I don't know what to do. I'm just 19. I, I don't know what's the best choice here. This is such a huge choice. Shit. Move her into a full-time care facility or take care of her by yourself. I don't know. I want what's best for her. Uh, fuck. And it's really hard to say, but... <sighs> Darn it. Okay. I don't know if that was a good choice or not. Oh. oh. I don't want to hurt you. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Shit. I knew that would happen, but... You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. I'm like, oh my gosh. Ugh. Have I? I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person, apparently. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. <sighs> Eula's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You're always really. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Mayhem dies. No. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to look to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Shit, I shouldn't. Okay, I made a really bad choice, apparently. Damn it. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Oh no. 
you take it yeah as a, a firewatch job is she still alive though that's what i want to know Save point. I'm just gonna So this is where I'm supposed to work. I saw a small demo of the game, but I I don't remember too much of it. But yeah. I hope I'm not missing anything, because I have no idea how, how the game works. Even though I saw a demo, but it's still just a demo. It looks really cool, though. <sighs> Turn on the power. Great. Oh. There we go. Two Forks Tower. Hello? Hold left shift to activate. Okay. Oh, I see. Wait, I can't release left shift. Oh, oh um, I hello? see. Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Hold on, I need to... I thought I had subtitles on. Oh, my bad. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Reply. Oh, oh, shit. Revealing. Uh, I'm gonna back home, can't stand you. You killed. You <laughs> Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Thank you. Hey, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Really? Oh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> okay. Cool. My heart is already broken. Day one. Okay. Let's do this. Slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. As your radio call. Okay, I'm just gonna. How do I? How do I? How do I? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know. Hey. This can take sorry, a while. I guess I slept in. Relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Whole left shift to talk about objects. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, hmm? you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good what? God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, 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 
I don't know which. Are those fucking fireworks? And to use compass. What? West? Oh, okay. So this window? I'm really bad at I this. I need you shit. to confirm. Do you see them? What? I am so fucking bad at this shit. Oh, oh, I see it. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Oh shit, okay. Kick the shit out. Do you out. think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The okay. code is 1234. <laughs> Good it's code. It's actually that for all of them. Oh. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> oh, so he took the okay, good. The backpack. So west. Okay. The game is interesting. I I think this was the part of the demo. Um okay. So west. Um, I need to- oh my god, how am I s- How the heck am I supposed to do this? I am so bad at this. So west is... Like, um, this way. I see. <laughs> NFS cache box. How am I supposed to find that though? Okay, and I need to go west, apparently. Oh my god. I'm gonna suck at this game, it's a warning, guys. I'm really terrible at following maps. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's really pretty. Oh, here's the box, I think. So I'm on the right path. That's good. Uh, oh, oh, how do I? Okay. One. Two. Three, four, <laughs> good. Q. Ron, hey man, guy, couldn't take it, so I locked up his look out and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. What the fuck? So... Ron and Dave, okay. Keep? I can keep it? Interesting. Ooh. Let's... Let's eat it, <laughs> I guess. Cause why not? A map. Okay, so I can update the map. That's interesting. It's not really gonna help me though, is it? Alright. Uh, N? Uh. Toggle. Oh, okay. Nice. This you. Oh, nice. I can talk about stuff. 
This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of, well, <laughs> everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Sure. Oh, am I going? I don't know. I think I'm... No, I think I'm at the right place. Yeah. Should be. I don't want to... How... Oh. Oh, okay. How do I... Damn, this is difficult. How do you know that you don't miss shit? Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on Ooh. trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Great. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. <laughs> oh, I thought... Shale slide, it's steep. Okay. So I'm on the right way, because dialogue and the rope. Can I look at anything? I don't... Again, I don't... I really don't want to miss stuff. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Oh, shit. Report climbing. Okay. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Well, I don't know what's happening. My game is... I don't have a good computer, so... Oh, which way? This way or that way? I don't know. Oh, it's the same way. Never mind. Examine. Okay. <laughs> Am I going? What oh, report? What report? What I saw. It. Meadow. Oh. Uh. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stop coming out. Okay. I'm so happy I have the compass. I'm just gonna look at the map real quick. Oh, does that... I don't understand. Nothing tells me where I am. I don't, I don't... No, yeah, the, the, the spot that's blinking. Okay, so it's just a little bit further ahead. Good. Uh, no, I need you. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to go up here, maybe? I really don't know, man. No? Can I climb? Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh. This way, I think. Let's try it. Oh, here. This should be the right way. Oh. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Just found where they're hanging out. Campfire. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, 
they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? You left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. <laughs> I can save it. Oh my gosh, I am gonna save it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Man. That's really mean, though. Can I? No, I can't do anything. Oh my god. Beer can. Oh. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Clean up. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> what, you don't like a cold musk while light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, Let's well, confiscate them. Confiscate them. Oh, confiscate. Yeah. Good. Oh, I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, stomp out. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's clothes here. Great. <laughs> well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them oh. off and then head back. A bra. I found a bra. Why would you examine? A pyromaniac. Remain professional. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking examine the bras. Okay, panties. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why, because you're 12? <laughs> Another bra. There's a. Ooh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. What if they're teenagers? Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground. Hey. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Uh, I'm not a dude. I'm really not. Okay, what am I? I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do you guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? I'm just doing my fucking job. Jobs. Why can't I tell them that this is my job? Okay. 